Hi, I am Valder Beebe. I am the host and the visionary of that celebrity interview. Dr. Jeffrey Sulbitzer, how are you? I am doing very well today. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you for joining me here in Dallas, Texas to talk about telehealth. Explain to my audience what that means because these are new terms in, in, in this current situation we're living in. For sure. Telehealth, and, and, and it's also a way to deliver telemedicine, telemental health, and teledentistry through the technology that we have in our pockets. We can use our smartphone, we can use our laptops, so it's a wonderful way to communicate with healthcare providers and, and avoid that in-person visit that the authorities are asking us to manage very carefully. Was telehealth really big prior to currently what we're going through? Because through? I see it exploding. Well, telehealth has been big in telemedicine and in teledentistry uh, for sure. Over the last five years, the growth has been phenomenal. But I believe a crisis like this is probably going to now put a lot of focus on the value of telehealth and how it can be used to, to increase patients' awareness, give them some reassurance and safety without leaving their own homes, which is an important part of the process today. Okay, let's break it down a little bit. So Teladoc, tell us what Teladoc does and tell us what teledentistry does. Sure. Well, telemedicine is delivering information between the patient and the caregiver. It could be a physician, it could be a nurse practitioner, it could be a mental health provider. And it delivers that information. It's gaining uh, the symptoms of, of the problem that the patient is experiencing. It, it shares uh, the history, the, 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 the severity of the symptoms, and it gives that caregiver the opportunity to develop treatment plans or at a minimum next steps. Should that patient then now ex uh, go to a bricks and mortar environment or can they stay in a telehealth environment to get through the actual problem they're experiencing? And the same in teledentistry, it's the same type of situation. You can do teleorthodontics, you can do tele-exams to rule out dental problems uh, and decide whether or not you need to be seen in a bricks and mortar environment or can it be managed medically. With what the current conditions we have currently going on, we're being told, you know, uh, we're only treating those that who need immediate care, do not come in. Will telemedicine fill in that void for people? It will for sure, and that is the value proposition that telemedicine brings to the table. It enables patients and doctors and caregivers to communicate without having to be seen in person. So that way we can limit the amount of gloves and masks that are being used, and we can limit the possibilities of exposure for our healthcare community so that they're able to take care for the sick. So it makes a lot of sense, and I think you're gonna see it being leveraged very aggressively through this crisis. I think we are. If you don't know about telemedicine or you wanna be a part of it, how do you do that? Well, that's a great question. Many health systems today, many um, hospital systems are giving access to uh, their membership. Also, your health plan is now giving you advice. You can go to their websites to gain information on how to access telehealth. And also, you can go to your community websites as well as your state departments of health and the CDC. And there's more and more information about telehealth at these uh, websites to get started in the process. Dr. S Dr. Saltz, during these turbulent times, do you have any advice related to telemedicine for the listening audience? Yes, I think people should be very comfortable and not be afraid to leverage the telehealth. It makes you feel you're not alone. You can access care and access advice without leaving your home. And then that way you're really keeping everybody safe, safe and secure, especially yourself. And it gives you that reassurance and comfort of knowing that somebody's looking after you from afar. Dr. Saltz, thank you so very much for talking with my audience. People are uh, uh, WFH, which means work from home, they're at home, and they're just looking for guidance and, and tools to help them, and I think this will be a great tool. I agree with you, and it is, and I encourage everybody to research telehealth, teledentistry, telemental health, because it's a great tool for all of us to use in this crisis.
You've been a great interview, Dr. Salt. I thank, I thank you, Salter. I thank you so very much for this information. Well, thank you as well. Have a good night. Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I host the Valder Beebe Show, broadcast on radio and television. And this is My Phone Pouch. My Phone Pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com. Hi, I'm Valder Beebe, host of the Valder Beebe Show. I have used Credit Help USA, the credit restoration company that's bonded and state certified. When you become a client of Credit Help USA, you become eligible for a set of stainless steel cookware from Credit Help USA and the Valder BB Show. Get your credit straight today. Visit credithelptx.com, click on the Valder BB Show icon, and get started living life divinely. <music>